This is Cameron Chai from azom.com, bringing another episode of Azo TV. Today we're speaking to Alex Azumanides from Silotech, and he's going to tell us about their 3D DMA testing machine. Thanks, Cameron. Our DMA is specifically designed to be able to produce data for numerical simulations. So the, the, the data that this instrument produces goes, works very well with finite element analysis to be able to predict the mechanical properties of plastics. So let me show you some of the details of what differentiates this system. Uh, the core differentiation is this uh, local strain measurement. So we have uh, extensometers that measure the strain locally thereby avoiding any kind of stress concentrations that you typically would have in the gripping mechanisms of, uh, of a typical DMA. We also measure strain axially and transversely. And that's very important because what we're able to do is we measure not only the dynamic Young's modulus of a material, but we also measure the time-dependent dynamic Poisson's ratio. And by measuring those two, uh, by making those two measurements, we're able to get the material's full 3D material property matrix, again, which is very useful for doing numerical simulations. In fact, a necessary component for using reduced time constitutive models. We also, incidentally, provide the software that ties on to Abacus to be able to do these constitutive models and predict things like temperature and time and pressure effects on a, on a polymer in, a, in an environment. Um, I also wanted to point out uh, that the systems itself, system itself, we, we have another sensor on here that measures temperature clamped directly onto the sample. So we're reading the, sa the sample temperature so that uh, you have a little more accuracy that way than just measuring the air uh, near the sample. But also, as, this, as uh, if the sample itself generates its own heat, we can track that by, by having a, a, a temperature reading on it. We also utilize a, an electrodynamic actuator, a 500 Newton electrodynamic actuator, which is inside of the system and it has a load cell on it. And that load cell uses a technology, a very high resolution force technology, to be able to uh, accommodate both the rubbery region and the, and the glassy region of the plastic. Um, <clears throat> as far as the uh, heating of the chamber, we also have a uh, uh, forced air. So instead of just having a heater, we have a fan that circulates air and gets the sample to temperature faster and makes the test basically take less time. Um, that's basically it. And does the forced air, does that help you, you could do controlled cooling rate experiments as well by using the forced air? You can do controlled, the, the, the test itself is done at different temperatures. So you can also do controlled cooling. Uh, we actually prefer because of the, uh, the need to, to develop data for numerical simulations, we prefer doing isothermal tests. And then from the isothermal tests, we generate master curves. And then from those, uh, the way that the post processor works, rather than doing, say, a temperature ramp or a controlled temperature test, from the isothermal temperature data, uh, isothermal frequency sweeps, we can actually infer time domain, of course, frequency domain master curves, but also temperature ramps. So if we were to try to do a, a temperature control experiment, we usually will do that in post-processing. But it is possible with this instrument, certainly, to, to control temperature and cooling. And what, what temperature range does your instrument do? F From minus 100 C to 200 C. And what do you use to get to minus 100 C? Yeah, liquid nitrogen. So okay. there's a, on the back end, there's a liquid nitrogen input. And uh, yeah, we use liquid nitrogen. So, and also, as far as the temperature control, we, we use a, um, a, a thermos a, uh, in order to be able to have a very low thermal mass and, and makes it easier to control temperature because there's a lot less heat lost during the experiment. All right, Alex, if anyone wants more information about the 3DMA, they can go to your website for that. Absolutely, that's uh, www.silotech.com. That's P S Y L O T E C H.com. All right, Alex, thanks for taking a few minutes to tell us about that 3D DMA testing machine. Thanks very much. Thanks, Cameron.